<laughs> okay, so we're going to try a poinsettia menorah and it's completely spontaneous improv. Oops, wait, I'm trying to highlight it. Um, spontaneous improv, let's see what happens kind of a thing. All right, so review what poinsettias look like. And just because the petal looks like a flame uh, somehow makes me think. Okay, so, um, oh, I know. What if I did a side view of a poinsettia and the little yellow stamen part becomes the menorah? That might work. Okay, I'm gonna start with the flames and then we'll take it from there. So I'm gonna use a Q-tip and some yellow. So I've got two kinds of yellow here. I think I'll go with the brighter yellow, clean toothpick, Time for clean water because my mother, you know, you try and you, <laughs> you try and use this and the yellow, you're gonna get yellow green. So fresh water. Good to keep it handy. All right, wetting the Q-tip, rubbing in the yellow, and Let's see what's going to happen. All right, so I think it might be a tiny menorah. I could do, okay, I could certainly do eight poinsettias. Sorry, nine poinsettias. I could do one in the middle, four on each side. That might look good. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, I'm going to do that. You can take up the page because otherwise, uh, I'll do both. I'll do that one first though. Okay, so first we'll do nine point sets real quick. All right, so the little yellow part at the top will be the flame. So you can see those dots, right? Okay, so now I've got to measure out. So I'm gonna do one and measuring one. This will be nice because I can like fill in. Uh, okay, and I know I want the end to be here. So I'm gonna measure sort of you know, backwards and then try and get two in the middle to get the four, one, two. And then I can add like extra to sort of make it a little e more evened out. Okay, that works. I've got like a little almost triangular shape for the, okay, now. We didn't do poinsettias like this last week, but this week I, I'm going to try to do um, one petal at a time. So I need an interesting shape. So I'm just pulling, I'm like checking out what shape might be good. I remember seeing one here that, that right, so a slanted one might be good, but smaller. You know, this is an interesting shape. Let me try that. It might be too big. Let's see if I have a smaller one like that. Um, this, this might work. I'm thinking one of these planted ones will, will do the job for me. Okay. Get some red. This is the red from 1978 or so. Okay, Lenore just came in. All right. Um, clean water. Although a little bit of green for the water would just make my red darker and that might not be a bad thing. So I think I will use a little of the green water. Okay. So I, what I'm talking about is I've got water that's already got green in it. I'm using that because it'll just deepen and maybe uh, tone down my red for a couple of strokes and it'll be fine. 
All right. Okay, so what I'm thinking is kind of a side view. Doesn't have to be, does it? But I'm thinking it'll look more candlelight if it's side view. Um, uh, all right, so one stroke at a time is usually sort of push and pull. So uh, sometimes you can pull and then push, um, but either way, it's like starting skinny and then getting out skinny again. So it's it's just sort of a one stroke thing. I need some short ones. Don't forget it starts with a little stem first. That helps too. All right, so there's a little side view. All right, uh, making nine should not take too long. <laughs> what did I get myself into? Okay, all right. So I'm just going to make little ones here that's already goofed up, but with a couple of lines, I think it'll be a save. Okay. Sometimes it's easier than others. Let's see if that can work. I'm breaking the rule. I'm not doing the little stem first, which is sort of a characteristic of it. So that's my problem here. So let me try one here that kind of overlaps where the stem is more prominent. All right, this time I'll learn my lesson. I'll do a couple of stems first and then start my petals. So I'm trying to do the one stroke at a time petal. Let me see if it's better without this light, which it was last time when I went up color. So let me adjust that. Is that better or worse? Hmm. All right, I think I think that's not terrible. Okay. All right, anyway, one stroke at a time, but we need that little stem. So stem and petal. All right, in case you're just coming in, I'm attempting to make a poinsettia hanukia for Hanukkah. And um that's redundant. Okay. And I'm going to add a couple of little um, veins because the veins really make it like, you know, like see the little veins? Yeah. Okay. This one's a little funky looking. Let's see if I can get one in there on top. Okay. So they're a little bit free. That's okay, because I'm trying to do one stroke at a time and make nine quick poinsettias. I think I do have to get a little bit back here. Maybe a tiny little bit of red showing there. I can go back and, and maybe get more veins in. You can find where there's sort of a light area and then maybe get some veins. This brush is great because I can also make these tiny little lines with it. Okay, so in case you're still perfecting your one stroke pedal, um, I'm going to remind myself to do the line first. So I'm trying to keep them the same size. The the brush is hitting the my little okay so a little thick and thin so go out i think it's easier to head out and then in so i'm going to turn the brush to do that
Um, all right, when I do the branches, I really have to, you know, get that uh, menorah look. So. And then, you know, what's in front, what's behind. Hope you're painting, or at least uh, thinking about it. How fast can you do nine point seven? Okay. Again, I'm looking for where I can put those veins because the veins really help it to look like a poinsettia. I think this will work. I think it's working. Okay, uh, double check that they're all sort of the same size, not bad. Imagine this on a giant piece of paper, that would be lovely. Again, I'm hitting my camera here with my brush. Okay. All right. Um, I see a couple spots could use like some brighter red. So I'm just going to go back in and do a little bit of touch, touching here and there with um, some brighter red. And then um, I have to find that snowflake, the snow, the, where I have the snowflake video, I can't remember now. Oh, I think I do remember. And it might not have gone out to you. Okay. I'll put it in our slides. Maybe I can show it to you real quick in case you're in the snowflake mood. I did see a couple of flakes outside the window today. Oh, that's a nice bright red. I hope it stays like that. Pointy, pointy. Okay, we're getting poinsettias all in a row. Four on one side. We've got our main poinsettia in the middle. And now I need a flat brush. I think I have to go with, no, that's too small. I need something in between here and here. Luckily, I recognized my brushes recently. Oh, this will work. It's slanted, but it's flat and it's in between there. Okay. Sometime when you, you know, have a little free time, just get out all your brushes and see what each brush does. All right. Okay, so I've got green. Um, now you want to like switch up your greens a little bit. So have more than one green around and Either mix them together or put your put your green with like a little bit of orange or have like a little mixing pan that where you can have a variety of greens. Okay. All right. So now we've got to get creative here because this thing doesn't exist in the world. So um, I will do some green leaves, but in the meantime, I'm gonna just kind of establish my stems. So I could have them, you know, in the traditional, that might, that might be fun. Like they're, they've branched out here. That'll give the idea of what we're doing. And then maybe I can just kind of connect them with leaves or something. Um, I have to figure out what's going to happen here, and I don't know. Um, so let me do leaves while I figure it out. Okay. So I'm I'm dipping. I've got this other sort of deeper green mix just so I can have a variety of greens. And then I always keep a yellow that I use to like see how. Like I try and keep this one pure and I keep this one um, for mixing with greens once in a while, as you can see. And sometimes I'm like out here on the rim just so that I have 
green variations so that almost every time I dip, it's hard to see, but these are all like different greens in here. So that every time I dip, it'll be like a little bit different. Okay, so um, I'm gonna use this brush because it's similar to this, but bigger. And maybe I can do the one stroke leaf like I did the one stroke petal because those petals, as we said, are really leaves. All right, so let's see what happens. Okay, where to put them? Because it's not a real plant. So um, I guess it'd be kind of nice if there were a few near here, but I think I'll work my way up. I'm being very tentative here, aren't I? Okay. Um, all right, well, we know that they they do kind of, you know, come out from the stem. So, all right, so I'm trying to get the point where the, where the point of the leaf would be. And I'm trying for, well, that's not too bad. Okay, let's see. Um, a pointy leaf. Once I get my stroke figured out, all right, well, we definitely going up there so that's what makes it look like a poinsettia all right now if you don't have a brush like this you can totally do this with a round brush so let me get one out just to prove it um All right, I could probably do the same thing with this round brush. Let's try. Because the leaf shapes are coming out pretty good. It's like, I feel like I'm working on a miniature painting. All right, so um, I could definitely, so little, little stem. Sometimes it's easier with this too, because you just push and pull in. Yeah, that's good. All right, so I'm pushing and pulling in. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so I'm pushing and then letting up. Uh, remind myself that there's a stem first and then get a little point. All right, if this were darker, so to get it darker, I'm just gonna drip some, oh, veins. Run for veins, perhaps. These are so pointy. And these little bits of dark emphasis, you know, see how the var there's variation in the green that partly happens because I'm pushing and lifting up, and it's also happening because I'm adding a little extra afterwards. So that always helps. So I'm going to get a little bit of green behind each of these, even if I have to kind of draw it in. All right, see how it's becoming a menorah? Okay, we've got a poinsettia hanukia happening right before our eyes, and at least it's coming out and working the way I was hoping. That's very always... original, April, very original. <laughs> it's happening before your eyes. <laughs> Yes, it is. It's original and, well, I don't know. I mean, if we go online, maybe we'll see one. I don't know. Now, this, I just have to show you, this leaf was intended for this, but because it's shaped like that, I quickly added a stem like, oh no, I meant it to go to that one because it, it the, the shape just was perfect for that. So, all right, so uh, that happened again here. Okay, so it has to go to that one. I really am not sure how I'm gonna connect all these. I gotta figure it out. Um, uh, that will be a little tricky. Okay, 
All right, just keep, I'll just keep adding leaves, see what happens. Okay. All right, everybody painting? Is it time to, oh, it's almost time to go and I've been talking the whole time. Okay, you know, we can certainly, I can certainly show the results next week. I wanna, I actually wanna see what you're doing. Um, I think I've really talked enough. I can't believe it's 4.15. April, going... you can use the, April, you could use the, the bottom of your Hanukkah as like a either a flower box or, uh -huh. a plant, or a planter type. Okay. All right. That's an idea to keep in mind. I'm also thinking that on each of the tops to add a little um, contrast, I think I might add just a little, like a little dark line. And then of course, if I maybe need a yellow glow behind each one. I'm not sure. Uh, some people might add a little candle on each one, but I was trying to give the feeling without the that kind of obvious. So I don't know. We'll see. Tune back next week and we'll see. I'm going to stop the recording and, um, and then I want to see what you all are doing. Okay.